Greetings everyone, Slizzle466 here, casting for my cousin, Slizzle699. For those of you who don't know him, he seriously damaged his voice box back in 1993 and is unable to speak. He plays the most degenerate decks in Wild. He's also a member of the Dark Side and has his own lightsaber. And he is pretty mad that some of his favorite cards in Questline Warlock got nerfed. Uh, those three cards would be Dark Lair, which got bumped from a 2 mana 2 3 to a 3 mana 3 4. Um, Battleground Battle Master get, got bumped up to 6 mana. And that wasn't that core to the deck, but it was a nice card. And Flesh Giant got bumped up to 9 mana. So, Slussle699 does not care. He's still going to play it, um, see how it goes. Uh, for those of you who don't know how to mulligan for this deck, oh look, it's the mirror. What a surprise. Uh, for those of you who don't know how to mulligan for the deck, uh, you want to go ahead and keep Kobod Librarian, obviously the Demon Seed, to a guide, and backfire. Uh, it looks like Sluzzle realized that his deck tracker was out of date, so I believe he's currently updating his deck tracker. There we go. I didn't. I did notice the dark clay was two on his deck tracker there. So hopefully, this fixes things. And it just shows you the ability of the deck, where you don't really have to think what you're doing. You can even update your software, complete your homework, write an essay, message your friend, um, because this deck doesn't particularly require too much skill. Which is why Sluzzle699 plays this deck. So, basically the goal here is finish your quest line before your opponent. It's just a race of who can do the stupidest things to get it done. Uh, it looks like his opponent has finished the damage 6 amount to the face. And looks like also the... almost the 7 damage to the face. A broom comes down. Notice here how because the dark layer is a 3-4, it survives. So it's almost a good thing that it's a 3-4. I mean, yes, having three mana means everything's kind of delayed a turn. But a 3-4 is much more difficult to deal with than a 2-3. Okay, so Sluzzle's going for the deal 7 damage to his face quest line. Okay, his opponent finished the 7 damage quest line. One more quest line to go. Normally these would be done around turn 4, but now they're done around turn 5. Looks like his opponent finished a turn 4 anyway. Great nerfs. Great nerfs. Okay, so it looks like Sluzzle's in a bit of a pickle here. He does have a broom, so I imagine Sluzzle is going to finish the quest line this turn, probably play the broom, play a bunch of giants. He's also going to be careful how to position the giants because of Battleground Battlemaster giving the adjacent minions Wind Fury. He wants to make sure those, uh, those giants are next to each other. Okay, so Slowball has finished the deal 7 damage quest line. One more to go. He may not even need to finish it. As his opponent has played one broom, no giants though, so considering the number of cards in Sluzzle's opponent's hand, it's not looking good. Not looking good at all. Okay, so two a guide seems desperate. Oh, defile, okay. I mean, some lists run Defile. I'm not a big fan myself, but I've heard some players are cutting Battleground Battlemaster for Defile, which I guess is okay. Opponent's still digging. His opponent's currently dead. Dead on board. Oh, is there a broom? 
Plague of Flames. That's cute. Okay. So Sluzzle needs 12 damage. I don't see how he does it. However, the quest line is done. Hmm. I guess he could tap. Not so. I'm not sure why he's playing a broom. Yeah, I was gonna say. It's kind of weird. He didn't tap. He okay, tap last. What's the punish there? He could have played the two a guy. That he he misordered there. Now, okay, what is Sluzzle dead to? So, Tamsin into Crystalline is not enough. Okay, opponent is not playing Tamsin. There's Broom number two. Or with, uh, that Broom was off the uh, raised dead, I think. Okay, well, Sluzzle needs nine damage. I can see four, seven, nine. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, he got it. He top he got he top decked the lethal. Good old raised dead. There were other ways to get lethal too, not necessarily the top deck, I don't think. Well played, Sluzzle. Well played. Turn seven. Slower than usual. Usually these games are over turn five, six, so I mean maybe the meta has slowed down a little bit. Okay, we're gonna cast one more game from my cousin. Okay, Paladin. Paladin feels dead. I mean, Conviction killed Odd Paladin, Tax Paladin, Hand Buff Paladin. So, I mean, what's left? I guess we'll see. Okay, so opponent is most likely Tax Paladin. Sluzzle, please don't play the quest. Please play the coin. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, Sluzzle isn't completely out of it. What's shocking is that when I was playing Tax Paladin, I would say... When I was queuing into questline decks, not necessarily Warlock, but just like any, war any questline deck, I would say 10% of my opponents played their quest line into Oh My Yog. It's pretty shocking. Okay, so... This isn't too inconvenient. I mean, four, four mana Dark Glare, though, is pretty painful. But Slothal has the backfire next turn. Should be okay. Mindbreaker? My goodness. Well, that doesn't stop the backfire, but that mind break is pretty annoying. Hmm. Sluzzle needs spirit bomb number two to deal with that. Cold arms on four. Oh dear. Web lord hurts. Double protected by the righteous protectors. I like the Yolo Solarium here. Gets the spirit bomb. I. I think he aims it at the Mind Breaker. Yeah. I think the Mind Breaker is better to get rid of than a Nebera Weblord. Still pretty clunky though. I don't think anything died for Raise Dead, so that's why I didn't play it. Another Mind Breaker, oh dear. Well, now that both uh, both Spirit Bombs are gone, it's kind of a problem. Okay, Broomstick is too expensive. I guess he just plays a Flesh Giant. I mean, what else are you going to do? He actually could have gone Librarian Flesh Giant. I don't know if that would have mattered. Just to get the extra card. Oh. 
Okay, well... I really don't see a way how that mind break is dealt with unless his opponent just like starts whacking in the dome to get Molten Giant and Broom for Slozzle. He's a bonus dome whacking, so it's pretty good. So Slozzle does have the Molten Giant Broom, but the problem here is one of those secrets is most likely Redemption. Which means that Slossel's gonna have to. Yeah, like the giant. Yeah, like giant broom. But if this is. If this is redemption. Oof. Like 8 8s to kill a 1 1 divine shield taunt is just awful. Okay, so Slazzle's opponent is four off lethal. They could, I mean, they could still run Conviction. Hold the arms. Mana Wraith, oh my goodness. There are some serious taxes being paid here. Cobalt Librarian for six mana, my goodness. Darkly Warlock for five. Looking pretty grim. Gift of Luminance. I wasn't expecting that. My goodness. Wow. Slussle's opponent really doesn't want him to use his hero power. That is the power of Warlock. This is a pretty cool build of Paladin. I believe Slussle is done. I guess he can play a couple cards here. Not looking good though. Mm. Those are all increased by cost if he does that. Oh, I see. Oh, never surrender. Why is the opponent running never surrender? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, the headphones are gone. I think Sluzzle's done. Well, Oh dear. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. If you want to try the deck for yourself, you'll find the deck code in the description below. If you want to help support this channel and Slozzle, you can click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and until next time, hope to see you again.